As a fire official, you will likely receive more and more permit requests for above ground storage tanks or ASTs, replacing underground storage tanks as a result of the December 1998 U.S. EPA deadline. But what kind of AST will you approve? Safety is a real concern with fuel storage, as was demonstrated in this film of a steel tank AST disaster in 1959. Many in the industry still remember the fuel fire that claimed the lives of six firefighters. The exposure fire pressurized the primary tank, ultimately forcing a rupture point which caused the tank to propel itself like a missile directly into the firefighters. Can disasters like this be avoided? What forms of fuel storage will you approve in your jurisdiction? Let's look at some worst case scenarios for above ground fuel storage and consider the safety factors of protected ASTs. Uh, I am absolutely astounded that there's not more injuries or deaths in that area. I mean, it's, it's amazing. There's, there are major, the major power towers down, power lines down everywhere, trees knocked down. In April of 1998, a tornado ripped through Nashville, leaving a path of destruction. It brushed this bank building, pulling bricks out of the wall, knocking down power poles, and overturning box vans with other cars. The backup generator for the bank, which powers its main computer system supporting statewide ATM services, was fed by the Convolt tank located between the damaged building and the overturned vehicles. No damage was sustained by the tank. In 1995, Castroville firefighters responded to a major structure fire at a warehouse. Two Convault ASTs, a 500 and a 1,000 gallon, were directly adjacent to the structure. Although not recommended, firefighters actually mounted the units and attempted to extinguish the blaze by applying hose streams from the AST vantage point. Although they were ultimately forced to abandon their position, the firefighters noted that the Convault AST survived the disaster and remain in service without having required maintenance. In August 1998, lightning started a natural gas pipeline fire in Florida. Dual towers of flames reportedly reached about 600 feet in the air and hundreds of feet horizontally from each side of the pipe. One observer said it was like being under the Challenger space shuttle at liftoff. The fire burned over seven hours, and temperatures are estimated to have reached 3,000 to 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This picture was taken after the fire had been burning down for about five hours. The location and size of the Convault AST in the bottom left of the photo put the magnitude and impact of the fire into perspective. The foundation that the Convault protected above-ground storage tank is sitting on also contained a metal building that was used as a welding shop. Although the largest piece left of the building was the fire extinguisher holder, the Convault AST remained intact, containing and protecting its contents. Beside the Convault, you can see a portion of an aluminum tank which melted down. In the background, you can see the remains of a corrugated sheet metal Quonset hut, which is some 400 feet farther from the flame's origin than the tank. Realizing the quality of the unit, the company has purchased a replacement Convault protected AST. In 1996, flooding and snowstorms in the northwestern United States resulted in dozens of UST washaways and damaged ASTs. FEMA authorized $2 billion in flood relief for Northern California alone. Approximately 3,000 Convault ASTs are located in this region and were buried in snowdrifts as high as 28 feet well above the height of their vent risers. Many more were underwater due to flooding like this one in Waterford, California. In 1992, Hurricane Andrew cost seven billion dollars in damage. Cars, boats, and houses were strewn about like toys. Fuel tanks were no exception. Convault tanks, however, were back to work the next day. Seven people are killed as a C-130 test cargo plane crashes. A C-130 hurricane aircraft crashes near a residential neighborhood, clipping the corner of a hospital on its way down. This real-life nightmare could have been worse, as the plane crashed into an AST. In addition to the loss of the lives of all seven crew members, the impact resulted in a two-hour aviation fuel fire. Because it was a Convault AST, the tank survived the incident 
and continued to serve its standby generator throughout the entire ordeal. This convault survived a lightning strike. As a result of a high-speed chase, this car was totaled when it skidded into a convault fuel tank. The tank was unharmed. In 1996, this 200-ton silo, which was already scheduled for repair later that week, collapsed onto a convault tank. The simultaneous arc welder fire was easily controlled because the convault tank did not leak. A big rig hauling a convault overturns. The convault is undamaged. The State Department confirmed reports of a terrorist attack on a convault AST at the U.S. Embassy in Moscow in the former Soviet Union. The tank survived without incident. Just what makes convault virtually indestructible? Convault technology begins with a steel tank which is insulated with a 1 4th inch styrofoam layer wrapped in a 30 mil poly membrane or liner. This is entombed in 6 inches of seamless reinforced concrete containing no heat sinks or cold joints. Our standard tank is finished in an attractive two-park epoxy. Other exteriors available in some regions include stow or permacrete and natural finish also known as exposed aggregate. Convault tanks are UL and ULC listed. UL-ULC testing includes two-hour furnace and pool fire tests, hose stream test, vehicle impact, and ballistic resistance evaluations. The patented Convault design originated in 1986 and is still the preferred AST by many in the fire and environmental communities, despite scores of imitations out on the market today. One reason could be Convault's proven safety track record. Convault's rugged durability has been tested by man and nature time and time again. In fact, over 20,000 Convault ASTs remain in service today without a single system failure. For more information about Convault ASTs, call us today.